Well, welcome back. The United Launch Alliance ushered in a new era with today's certification flight two. Uh, however, there was a moment in the first minute of flight when sparks came out of the side. As West 2's Nancy Alvarez explains, the unexpected flashes are now raising questions about its meaning and impact. Three, we have engine ignition. One, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. A magnificent liftoff into the early morning sky for Vulcan. Then, at 37 seconds into flight, a shower of sparks and an uneven propulsion stream. ULA CEO Tori Bruno explaining what he saw on the company's webcast. The trajectory was nominal throughout. We came to our uh, first insertion on the orbit that we intended, so all of that is good. We did, however, have an observation on SRP number one. And so we will be off looking into that after the mission is complete. SRB stands for Solid Rocket Booster. There are two kinds of rocket fuel used, liquid and solid. Vulcan uses both. One of the uh, what they call strap-on solid rocket motors experienced the nozzle failure. Dr. Don Platt is a professor at Florida Tech and an aerospace engineer. He says it's too early to know if today's rocket motor nozzle failure is a big deal. So the U.S. military requires that rockets be certified or checked out, if you will, to verify their performance capability and reliability on these rockets to put them into orbit. You know, so they have to be completely happy and satisfied that the rocket performed as needed. Professor Platt says teams will dissect data from the rocket itself and the video images to better understand Friday's performance. And there is a lot of competition. Dr. Ken Creamer is the managing editor of SpaceUpClose.com. He says the crowded rocket market means little room for errors. One guy's not ready. Okay, we're going to buy a contract from another guy. Okay, if the other guy is ready. But everybody has a little issues. And this just points out why, you know, with space, you're operating on the knife edge all the time. It's unclear if the certification process will be completed with Friday's launch. Platt says customers like Blue Origin may greenlight flights even if the military says they need more answers. A successful flight with a noticeable observation worth looking into. Nancy Alvarez, West 2 News. ULA's rockets don't land, so the first stage of Vulcan is technically lost. ULA says, though, they were able to place their payload into the desired orbit.